Today is August 1st, 2022. It is 3.27 a.m. This is video number two. All right, this is my back end. In this video, I want to focus on something. There were two people that passed and I would like to share the information. This I was showing on my last video. All right, so this is completely different now. Okay, uh, announcement, there he is here. All right, the next one that I'm gonna share is this. Nichelle Nichols from Star Trek. She passed at the age of 89, so I will be sharing her story with you. And Bill Russell, I'll be sharing some tweets regarding his passing, and then um, I will share uh, Nicole's story. Okay, so let's get started. All right, let's go into this announcement okay it is with a very heavy heart we would like to pass along to all of bill's friends fans and followers bill russell the most prolific winner in american sport history passed away peacefully today at the age of 88 with his wife Janine by his side arrangement for his memorial service will be announced soon bill's two state championship and high school offer a glamour of the incomparable one of pure team accomplishment to come twice a ncaa champion captain of a gold medal winning u.s olympic tip 11 times an nba champion and at the helm for two nba championship as the first black head coach of any north american professional sports team along the way bill earned a string of individual award that stands unprecedented as it went unmentioned by him in 2009 the award for the nba final most valuable player was renamed after two-time hall of famer as the bill russell nba final most valuable player award but for all the winning, Bill's understanding of the struggle is what illuminates his life. From boycotting 1961 exhibition game to unmask too long tolerated discrimination to leading Mississippi's first integrated basketball camp in the combustible wake of Medgar Evans' assassination. <laughs> to decade of activism ultimately recognized by his receipt of the presidential medal of freedom in 2010 bill called out injustice with an unforgiving candor that he intended will disrupt the status quo and with a powerful example that though never his humble intention will forever inspire teamwork selflessness and thoughtful change bill's wife janine and his family friend and family thank you for keeping bill and your prayers perhaps you relieve one or two of the golden moment he gave us or we call his trademark laugh as he delighted and explaining the real story behind how those moments unfolded and we hope each of us can find a new way to act or speak up with Bill's uncompromising, dignified, and always constructive commitment to principles. That will be one last and lasting win for our beloved number six. Okay, there's this. Uh, so is that his wife? I'm not sure. I don't know. Off. All right. So that's this. We lost two great two people who changed their respective games two black icons rest easy Nichelle Nichols and Bill Russell and thank you all right so now I'm gonna go into this okay um I'm gonna focus on my list okay I okay two black icon rest easy Nichelle Nichols and Bill Russell and thank you all right she was in um I think Star Trek Star Trek the original one all right there it is here tbt to the time we pay homage to nichelle huova and william shatner wow how time changed wow 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 okay let's let's go into the tweet that i bookmark okay let's focus on it because it's a long thread Okay, there's this an article about a very important conversation between my father and Miss Nicole. That's from uh, B. A. King. All right, all right. Let's see here. I think there was a thread. All right, let's read that. Okay, representation matter, excellence, and representation matter even more. Thank you, Nichelle Nicole. Rest well, ancestor. <laughs> when I look at this picture, I'm thinking, my goodness, my goodness, my goodness time 
change people in terms of your look and everything like that. Uh, where is okay? Maybe this is what I wanted to share. Okay, the Atlanta Journal uh, Constitution. All right, the story goes like this. Okay, it was 1967, and a review for the first season of Star Trek were not great. Nichelle Nichol, who played Lieutenant Nayoda Huora, had a bigger issue with the show. She found it demoralizing to see her lines cut and cut again. She had to deal with racist insult offset as well as from executives who conspired to keep her from seeing her fan mail. <clears throat> okay, at the end of the first season, Nicole recount ah, the thing keeps on jumping. At the end of the first season, Nicole recounted in her autobiography, she told the show creator she was done. Okay, let's see here. But the next day at an uh, NAACP function, a fan greeted her, Martin Luther King Jr. He told her how important her role was and how he and his family watched Star Trek faithfully and adore her in particular, the only black character. Nicole thanked him but said she planned to leave. Okay, quote, you cannot and you must not. She recalled him saying, Quote, don't you realize how important your presence your character is don't you see this is not a black role and this is not a female role you have the first non-stereotypical role on television male or female you have broken ground wow as i'm reading this my body shivered quote for the first time he continued, the world sees us as we should be seen as equal as intelligent people as we should be Nicole stayed. Okay, so she stayed. All right, let's see here. She stayed for the next two seasons for the series, lent her voice to an animated version, and appeared in a half dozen Star Trek movies. She had the first interracial kiss in American television. She recruited for NASA through her work. Okay, she influenced Maze Jemison, the first black female astronaut. Wow, I didn't know this. As I'm reading this, I'm learning as well. Okay, this is why I wanted to share that with you. Okay, by continuing on Star Trek, she had an impact on the lives of many others, including a number of Metro Atlanta black residents. Some credit Nichols' presence on TV with giving them confidence to pursue their own interests. Marilyn T72 said she watched she watched Amos and Andy as a child, but didn't know. Uh, then know that she wasn't supposed to like it. <laughs> Seeing Nico on TV was a re revelation. Her character, her communication officer, spoke several languages. <laughs> she was on the bridge of the star starship Enterprise. People listened to her. Quote, her position, uh, her position there helped me get confident in who I am, said Tig who lived in Davavo and began and became a sign language interpreter uh, partly to emulate Lieutenant Aurora. <laughs> Quote, she was there at a time when we needed to see her. Wow. Uh, Tony K56 is the owner of Challenges Games and Comics and the director of, of, of the Atlanta Sci-Fi and Fantasy Expo. He first saw Nichols on screen and Star Trek re reruns. It was refreshing to see a character who was not a criminal, a nanny, or a maid. He said her presence reinforced to him that he could be a leader. She might not have had a lot of lines at first, but she still commanded respect. <laughs> she inspired a lot of people. She inspired me to do a lot of the things that I do, he said. Uh, Nichelle opened the eyes of many people who opened the eyes of many more people. <laughs> All right, 2015, John Lewis to honor Nichelle Nico at Dragon Con Banquet. <laughs> Eddie Hines, 47, said Nichols' role was a stepping stone for Star Trek franchise too. Now a black woman, Sonak Martin Green, play Michelle Burham, the lead of the current series Star Trek Discovery. As important as it was for black people to see themselves represented on screen, Hines said it was just as important for white people to see Lieutenant Horova as a fully developed character. A quote, to be on the bridge and not be the cleaning lady, black people already wanted it. The Smyrna resident said, quote, to get people who did not want it to accept it is uh, a huge leap. 
She did it through grace. She made people enjoy her her performances. Joseph Campbell, an East Point graphic artist, doesn't think the show will have resonated the same way had Nicole exited as she planned. I'm so glad she stuck it. I'm so glad she stuck to it, he said. Just seeing her was like, wow, that's me. Without Nicole, Campbell said, it will have taken longer for black people and black women in particular to be normalized on screen. She showed young kids of color that you can do it, Campbell said. Nichelle Nicole was our Wonder Woman, our Captain Marvel. Okay, Deidre Sneer was one of those kids. Sneer 45 distinctly recalls seeing Lieutenant Hurova on Nickelodeon. It was the first time he saw a black woman animated. It stuck with him. Okay, Sneer is writing a graphic novel, uh, Saw Jam and Spear. All right, so that's the name of it. That's due out in April. One character, Ish the All Mother is based on Nicole and uses her likeness. The Snellville resident described Nicole as an icon and credit her with sparking his interest in science fiction and fantasy, merely by being on the show. Through the graphic novel, he had a chance to interact with her and thank her for her work. All right, let's see how long this is. Okay, it's almost done. Okay, if I didn't see her, I won't have been interested in that stuff. A lot of us didn't see ourselves invited to that conversation. Sneed said of science fiction, the idea of seeing yourself in the future. That's what I got from her. You're making a direct statement. There's a super smart black woman in the future. We are there. We didn't get wiped out. We didn't get oppressed. This part resonate right there. We didn't get wiped out. You know what I think about? When you see all those black men being shot on the street, it's like they trying to... But this is what uh, came to mind. A lot of time when I'm doing my podcast, I hold a lot of things. Sometimes so much thing going in my head. When I'm editing, I'm thinking I said the stuff and I don't hear it on the video, on the recording. Okay, we didn't get oppressed. Okay, Black History Month throughout February will spotlight different African-American pioneers through new stories in our archive collection and our living in Metro section Monday through Sunday. All right, so that's that. All right, let's go back to Twitter. There's here, Nichelle Nico. Wow, this is the thing here that I'm saying about time. Time, age, people. Hmm. <laughs> And she did look good at her age. I wonder how old she was here. Wow. All right, let's read some, not all of it. All right, I remember when she spoke about that meeting. Your father was right. Her presence shortened the course of my life. I studied technology and was the only one in the room representing black women. <laughs> There's where, where, where lives well live. Okay. There's where lives well live representation matter sadly readers in europe can access this article okay so they someone did a screenshot of it okay nichelle tells the story of that meeting with your father and her own words in this video this is a great story all right let me click on it just so i could hear it but you guys could uh um watch it yourself it's 12 oh wow it's long it's long okay i'll watch it on another time i don't want to make this video too long all right i think i have enough so it's on twitter um it's on youtube nichelle nico on how dr martin luther king jr dissuaded her from creating star trek all right so that's it please take a moment to subscribe let's do a prayer for her prayer to rest well let's do that for resting I want to say rest in peace, but let's do that. Rest. Let me stick with what I said. Uh, okay. Let's see if there's a small prayer. Dear God, as I lay me down to sleep, relax the tension of my body, calm the, the restlessness of my mind, still the thought which worry and perplex me. Uh, I was thinking, uh, I'm just going to stick with this. Let's pick one. That. Okay. Oh Lord. 
go with each of us to rest if any awake temper to them the dark hours of watching and when the day returns return to us our son and comforter and call us up with morning faces and with morning hearts eager to labor eager to be happy and if the day be marked for sorrow strong to endure it robert louis stevenson i am gonna stop that's it please take a moment to subscribe like and share if you want to support this channel there's a paypal link in the description you could donate all right i have another channel this one is a backup for my other channel all right so that's it